Hi. I know it's kind of late, and I know this is probably a shock, because, you know, we haven't talked in a long time, but I've been thinking about something a lot these past few days, and I know if I don't talk to you, I think it'll drive me crazy. So here's just me asking if we could talk. Thanks. Do you remember when we were kids and we first met? Yeah, I don't fully remember it either, but what my mom's told me is helped me fill in the gaps. And I think I remember enough, or at least I, the kid version of what happened. And I still can't help but think of all the things that had to fall into place that day for us to meet. Because really, there's so many different factors. You know, my mom said if it rained that day, we weren't going to go out. And the weather was supposed to be rainy. Apparently. <laughs> my mom remembers the weirdest things. But it didn't rain. And we went out. And stumbled upon you. Then, you know, we grew up, we were attached at the hip. I'd never felt so close to somebody in my life. I always felt like I never really had to explain anything to you. You understood. And now, I don't know what happened with, with us. I don't know how we ended up here. And honestly, I was kind of hoping maybe I could get an answer. And I mean, I'm, I know it's not just like you woke up one day, decided we weren't friends anymore. It's not like I'm blameless either, but something had to have happened for both of us to pull away like we did, and I for the life of me can't remember what it was, and if I'm being really, really, really honest, which is really scary, but I'm going to do it anyway. I miss you. I miss hanging out with you. I miss laughing with you. I miss letting go and just feeling free with you. I miss being understood. And all of that leads to just me missing you. And there's a part of me that feels like if I know what went wrong, maybe I could fix it. I know people just grow apart. But I didn't think we would. I knew we both got busy. 
but I didn't really realize how much that would affect our friendship. Hmm. I'm sorry I didn't spend more time with you. I know that it's been a while at this point and I'm sure you have friends and you've been getting by just fine but is there any way you'd ever reopen to rekindling an old flame with me? Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> Thank you. Well, for opening the door, first and foremost, and secondly, hearing me out, and third of all, us coming to a consensus, try. I've missed you. How have you been? What's new? What have I missed? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Me? Um, I've been good for the most part. I mean, you know, life throws shit at you sometimes, and... I've been juggling, but overall I've been good, been focusing on me and what I want and what I need to do to get there. And I've just been doing a lot of soul searching. And I like where I'm at so far. And um... Are you, see, like, seeing anybody, or...? <laughs> I'm not exactly scoping you out. I just want to know if I need to be careful. I don't know. I, w I don't, I don't want to tread in sensitive territory. No. Well, that's good to know. I don't have to watch my back then. <laughs> Me? Oh, yeah, no, I've just had, like, my pick of the litter. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, there's been nobody. I, um... I was never really interested in anybody. My mind's kind of just always been made up. Mm -hmm. No matter how much I try, I know that it'll never be anybody else. It'll always be you. You are the only person 
I feel 100% safe with. And you are the only person who gets me. Really, really gets me. And I've had the privilege of being loved by you in some capacity, even if it was as just a friend. And you know, if I've had that, why would I want to settle for anything less? So that is why it will always be you. And, and, it, and it's okay if you don't feel the same. You know, I just really enjoy being around you. And I... And I just want to be around you in any way I can. If you'll have me, you yeah. Hey, you laugh at my jokes. Don't make fun of them. You think they're funny. I know you do. But no, this isn't a joke. I'm serious. Believe me, if I was gonna prank you on like the reunion, I wouldn't do something like this. This is 100% real and this is 100% raw. And I am 100% scared right now. But I kind of just have to. I'm dead serious. Hmm? Are you serious? <laughs> There's no way. You haven't liked me too. Not this whole time. You have to be kidding me. <sighs> we are idiots. was very much long overdue. Listen. Let's not jump right in. Okay. We haven't seen each other in a while. And while, yes, the spark is still here, I don't want to rush into it and have it die out. I want to do this right. So, would you do me the honor of going on a date with me? Mm-hmm, a date. I don't know any details right now, but I promise I will 100% organize it. It'll be 100% on me. You just have to show up and have fun. Mm-hmm dead serious. It would be my honor, in fact. Awesome. Well then, you still have the same number? Good. Saturday at 7. I will pick you up. I will text you. <laughs> 